I'm here today to look at a lawn that I'm going to refer to as KC's lawn. And I've looked closely at what's, what's growing here. And um, it appears that, that uh, the primary grass here is crabgrass. <laughs> Um, I'm hard pressed to say what the well I guess when I get here in the shade I can see all right there's there's fescue here in the shade but it looks like the if if this was a Fescue lawn that it is it simply has gone too long. It's it, it reached the permanent wilting point and uh, there's not gonna be any grass here without some pretty serious seeding work done this fall. patch of Bermuda grass here that's also gone completely dormant from lack of moisture that's <clears throat> that's amazing I don't know if this lawn is under irrigation I'm gonna guess it's not but this is a really big project and we may be advising doing a a prime and a non-prime divided lawn where all of this up front will try to make as near as perfect as we can and then the back will settle for above average average to above average and this is this is crabgrass it's amazing on this side. Well, it's consistent all the way throughout. Some Bermuda grass here. Dallas grass. <clears throat> it's the only perennial weed that I've seen so far. This 
this is <clears throat> Bermuda grass and crab grass and Dallas grass back here. <clears throat> now this is it's a lot of Bermuda here. This lawn is three acres if it's an acre. <clears throat> okay, well these, so these are the parameters and the numbers, the area is so large, I'm just gonna work with rough numbers. I'm gonna call this the back area two acres. I'm going to call the front area three-quarter acre and outline a plan, a conversion, full, an extreme makeover plan based on those measurements and we can always adjust later. But uh, going to be quite a challenge. <clears throat> the Green Thumb Organic Lawn Care likes challenges.